to send all of you have gotten the press release that I put out. Um, I actually had hoped to roll this out in more orderly fashion, calling my friends and family and special people first, but uh, somebody got it and put it on the site, and it's, here you are. So uh, for those that are out there that didn't get the call beforehand, I apologize. The press beat you to it. <laughs> entertain questions, unless you want me to give a little statement first. I'll give a little statement first. Uh, you've gotten my letter. Um, uh, at, most of you know that I have a strong religious faith and I have a missionary background. I was born and raised in Thailand, and if you look at my bio on the website, you'll see that I lived there for my first 18 years, went to a missionary boarding school, came back here. Uh, I had a furlough every five years, came back here when I was 18 with no money. I had $500 my parents had saved for me and no friends or no family that I knew, but this is a wonderful land of opportunity, and so I was able to go work my way through college and law school, and uh, moved to Ohio, married an Ohio man, which is how I got to Ohio, and subsequently was elected the first woman to the Common Pleas bench, served there for seven years when I got the call about a possible appointment to the Supreme Court, which was not originally in my plans. Um, so I took the appointment, but had to immediately run to keep the seat, but managed to win my first election and two more since then. So I've been privileged to be on this bench for 16 years, but from my early days on the trial bench, I was very involved in different issues, and on this bench I initially got very involved in court security at first, did a whole bunch of court security reforms, then I got involved in adoption reforms. I was on the Dave Thomas Adoption Foundation Board and did a lot of work in adoption. And then had a chance to be to head a national committee that uh, ended up getting 43 states to adopt expedited appeals for adoptions, just like we had put in place in Ohio, a plan that I had proposed in the Supreme Court. But I was always very concerned about mental health issues because I saw so many people in our court that had mental health problems. and. Um, didn't know what to do with them. Our mental health system didn't adequately care for them. Our drug and alcohol system wouldn't take them if they had a mental health issue. It was just very fragmented. So when I got to this bench, I put together a group of 10 people, and I said to them, I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I have no budget. I have no staff. I have no background. I have no training. But I have the ability to call people to come to a meeting, and 10 people came, and that's how I started my quest for working on mental health courts, which became a national movement. I then co-founded a national committee called the Judges Leadership Initiative, which I still serve on, that uh, had the support of the Council for State Governments and a group called the Gaines Foundation. And so I was able to work nationally and then through that started a group called the Chief Justice Initiative, which started 23 other states applied for a grant that I helped to get to start a committee in their state like we did in Ohio. That led to my work in the veterans area. Um, I started. A, I was on a national committee appointed by the VA to put together a program for veterans courts called the Veterans Justice Outreach Specialist. Uh, so I put that program together. Um, I have been heading a juvenile justice reform committee here in Ohio. There are many things like that that I do. And those things all are very important to me. Uh, I spend a great deal of time. I speak almost once a month nationally. I, have an ability to consult nationally, but they're all limited by the restraints of the job. Since I was elected by the people of Ohio, I've always put the job first. I'm one of the most current justices, in fact, right now the most current justice, and getting my opinions out because I never wanted anybody to say that my job came second and my causes came first. So uh, after 16 years of reading five feet of briefs every two weeks, I was just at the dentist office reading my briefs in between the dentist going in and out of the room because that's the price you pay if you spend any time doing anything else. Uh, it's relentless. It's every two weeks. You might get occasionally three weeks to read the five feet of briefs, but it never stops and it limits my ability to work on other causes. So I have done a lot of careful soul searching. I uh, thought about not writing again, which sort of accelerated into do I really want to wait two years? I'm still young and healthy. I have the ability to work on this uh, more nationally. Uh, I can take advantage of some opportunities that are out there, but I have nothing particularly in mind. I have no offer on the table. Uh, I didn't feel it was appropriate really to talk to anybody until I made the decision about this job. So I will now, in the next six months, explore opportunities to consult, to talk, to work on this. 
I currently co-chair the statewide uh, Attorney General's Committee on Criminal Justice and Mental Illness. The Attorney General asked me to join him last June. I co-chair that with the Attorney General. I hope to continue in that role and several other roles I'm doing in Ohio. Uh, so I don't intend to leave Ohio. I'm not moving away. I'm not uh, uh, leaving my home. Uh, I have a wonderfully supportive husband who says, what you need to do, I support fully, completely. There's not many men that could really do that, I think, uh, for a wife that is sort of as hard-driven as I am. So I had just finally decided it was time for me to move on and let somebody else do this job that really wanted to and loved it and could devote the time to it that I do devote but want to spend elsewhere. So that's kind of a summary of the reasons. I put them in the letter, but I just feel like I want to go forward and just spend a lot more time and ability taking many of the things we've done in Ohio very successfully uh, to scale on a national level even more than I've done so. so that's kind of it in a summary.